If you're a diehard PC gamer or just getting into the gaming world, you won't want to miss this. Today, we're counting down the top 9 best PC games that you absolutely need to know about. On number 9, we have Monster Hunter World. In the intricate and lavish video game Monster Hunter World, players kill enormous animals and transform their tails into axes. The rotted valleys, ominous clouds of veiled unbelly, and the bright, magical coral highlands serve as appropriate backgrounds for some very excellent battles. It seems more like a fighting game than a button-mashing hack and slash since the monsters are enormous yet exquisite in understanding and countering their movesets. Although climbing the gear tree might seem daunting with 14 different weapon kinds and hundreds of things to build, Monster Hunter is still the most user-friendly to date. A generous loot system allows you to continuously find useful stuff you didn't realize you needed, even if you're grinding for a certain armor set. Additionally, collecting information about monsters will directly direct you to where they are, making the distance between its fantastic battles shorter than before. It's likely that if you've been playing Monster Hunter World for a time, you've already moved on to Monster Hunter Rise. Despite not being as good as Monster Hunter World, Monster Hunter Rise is still a fantastic game that has been improved by the inclusion of the Sunbreak DLC, which adds plenty of additional material to the game in a manner much to what Iceborne did to World. On number 8, we have Forza Horizon 5. The racing spectacle from Playground Games is the only racing game that feels or looks like it compromises the precision of other racers for lovely scenery and a variety of activities. Forza is like a holiday on wheels that even manages to teach you some fascinating facts about its own nation, Mexico, instead of the streets of Great Britain. This game's task is only accomplished if you want to pack your bags and go on vacation once you put the controller down. There is a ton to do, see, and collect in Forza Horizon 5, an amazing racing experience for everyone. Whether it's creating your own vehicles and circuits, or speeding down cliff sides in trick races. On number 7, we have Divinity, Original Sin 2. The isometric RPG era is eloquently honored in Divinity, Original Sin 2. But rather than depending only on nostalgia, it combines the greatest elements of the classics, the branching plots, the evocative writing, the intricate characters, and party building, with chic contemporary design principles, including physics-based spells and mod support. When you play with a buddy, you may use a minigame modeled by the classic game of rock, paper, scissors to resolve disputes over what your party should do next. It establishes a clear set of rules and then invites you to violate them. The finest fighting in the genre depends on deft decision-making and creative elemental combinations rather than chance rolls of the dice. It's worth listening to every incidental discussion as you go further and farther into its interesting fantasy world, because once the combat is over, your characters will always have something insightful or amusing to say to one another. On number 6, we have The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. The low fantasy setting incredible, realistic characters in the first two Witcher games had moments of genius, but they lacked polish. The Witcher 3 combines one of the biggest, most gorgeous worlds ever made with some of the best storytelling ever produced by CD Projekt Red. The Northern Kingdoms, which draw their inspiration from European mythology, are home to an array of amazing animals and, more significantly, three-dimensional people. Even if they all have flaws, especially the main character, Geralt of Rivia, you can't help but care about how they turn out. A five-hour side quest that takes you through a vineyard and a dusty city may be started by talking to any of them. Either way, you'll be invested in what you're doing and travel to some beautiful places while doing it, whether you're seeking a mythological monster or just attempting to settle a romantic dispute. On number 5, we have Into the Breach. The strength of Into the Breach is how predictable it is. Its regulations leave little room for chance or surprise since they are so precisely stated and well described. Your whole attention may be directed into selecting the optimal location for a missile attack or to maneuver your tank, and when you ultimately mess it all up, you'll know precisely what went wrong. One of the finest strategy games combined with a puzzle element, you maneuver pixel art pieces around a chessboard like Battlefield to stomp out alien invaders in this title. Each team that you may command has a unique strategy. Another is adept at freezing aliens with cold assaults, while one depends on forcing adversaries into danger areas rather than inflicting direct harm. Its genius is in applying your toolkit to every given circumstance, staring at the board for 15 minutes until Eureka, the ideal course of action suddenly dawns on you. Additionally, it is almost endlessly replayable. After defeating the game's final boss, you may try again with a fresh team that has a totally different feel. Even if you fail, you may immediately load up another round with a new set of perplexing problems thanks to the randomized, roguelike world structure. On number 4, we have Haze. The roguelike developed by the Bastion creators is now available in its entirety after a productive almost two-year early access phase. Hagas combines the greatest elements of Supergen, including breathtaking art direction, sound design, and music, 
as well as an engaging narrative with characters you'll come to care about beyond their cosplay potential. This is intended to be an inclusive roguelike from the start, dipping its toes into roguelike terrain for some long-lasting character boosts. The Prince of the Underworld, Zagreus, is trying to get out and is fighting his way to Mount Olympus via a number of prisons. Hades is not just the greatest effort at real storyline in a roguelike, with plenty of shocks, but it also excels technically, with quick combat and a variety of abilities and weapons to suit your chosen playstyle. You'll quickly find yourself in the rhythm of just one more go, getting to know a diverse cast of gods better with each run since losing doesn't seem punishing. On number 3, we have Rainbow Six Siege. One of the top first-person shooter games for online multiplayer on the PC, and it simply keeps getting better. Siege penalizes you for charging in with all of your might, instead you must consider your strategy and coordinate with your friends. When your team blasts out CCTV cameras, climbs a wall to get to an enemy's location, and holds the ideal angles while pinging headshots, the best strategies work out like clockwork. Although the breadth of its roster means you're likely to find your rhythm, it might seem daunting to inexperienced players. Whether you're a marksman, a master in demolitions, or simply a bulky man with a big hammer, every operator has a part to play and outsmarting your opponents is just as satisfying as outfiring them. There has never been a better time to buy Siege since Ubisoft continues to support it, with frequent new maps and operators, enhanced tools for beginner players, an unranked playlist that was launched last year, and other features. On number 2, we have the Elden Ring. The finest Souls games from From Software are combined with a really thrilling open environment and Elden Ring. Without job marks to direct you, you are free to truly explore, and as is common with FromSoft games, there are many surprises and hidden passageways to find. This is a dark, gorgeous planet that is so densely populated that many of its mysteries won't likely be revealed for a very long time. Elden Ring is a challenging game, possibly the most challenging From Software title to date, but because you can choose your own route and make various quality of life improvements that were probably influenced by earlier games, Elden Ring is likely to appeal to those who weren't sure about the Souls titles. People will enjoy and talk about this game for years to come. It's a real breath of new air for open world games. It is the epitome of what makes From Software so well liked. On number one, we have Half Life, Alex. The finest VR game to date is Elix, which seems like a natural progression from Half-Life 2, one of the all-time great shooters. It mixes the most intricate level design you've ever seen with an engrossing, moving plot. It seems as if everything may be picked up, studied, and shattered. When you open drawers, smash cardboard boxes, or take vodka bottles off a shelf, it might seem accidental, but it's often essential to advance. For instance, when you slip by a blind monster at one point, you have to cover your mouth to prevent Elix from coughing. This degree of participation gives the game a lifelike sense and makes you feel like a vital component of it. Additionally, the shooting isn't that horrible. Even though you don't have many weapons, the ones you do have are powerful and punchy, and they feel great in your hands. Reloads are done manually, which at first seems tedious but becomes easier with practice until ultimately, it comes naturally to slide magazines into position. When your sole source of illumination is a torch, frantic firefights are interspersed with clever puzzles and calmer evocative sequences. City 17 seems a lot spookier in VR than we recall. A story fit for the series propels the action. As Alex Vance, you search City 17 for your father Eli, while having hilarious conversations with your sidekick Russell. The stakes of your journey increase, but we don't want to give anything away. Enough to say that the magnificent conclusion is worth the wait. That's a wrap on our top 9 best PC games you need to know about. We hope you found some new titles to add to your must-play list. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more gaming content. And as always, keep on gaming.